I asked the women of reddit what uncommon red flags in women should men be on the lookout for these were their best responses If she's trying to stir up drama just so the relationship can be fun I saw this with a former friend spicing things up as a couple is all good But if she's stirring up the pots by letting other guys flirt with her just so you can play jealous boyfriend and rescue her from a situation that she started as if it's some movie or something, stay away from her. If she gets jealous whenever she's not the sole source of your joy or happiness, when she constantly traps you in difficult situations, like asking if she or her friend are prettier, stuff like that, sometimes they're just looking to stir stuff and there's no right answer. Just run, man. Women who follow rules for dating. I have a friend who follows rules from sex and the city if she's dating someone they have to move in together at the six month mark and get engaged at one year etc it always ends in disaster and she's so focused on meeting those goals without paying attention to how her partner feels about any of it that just sounds like self-sabotage to me why if you walk away feeling depleted after spending time with her oh that's an interesting one if she puts you down around others as a joke It shows total disrespect and the need to look good at the expense of hurting others. Testing, playing games, that's manipulation. Quick edit, I meant mind games. Like, if you really loved me, you'd do this and this for me and such. Romanticizing being a psycho. It's not cute, it's a massive red flag. Laying on a guilt trip if you're going out with your friends and she's not invited. Everyone needs time apart to hang out with their people. If she makes fun of your biggest insecurities in front of other people for a laugh, that's a red flag. The ones that play games like, I don't want anything for Valentine's Day. Okay, gets nothing on Valentine's Day. Uh, why didn't my boyfriend buy something for me? And then get really angry. Just be freaking honest. Don't play games like a teen. If she says she's on the pill and you never see her take it or any proof of birth control. I used to have a friend that would always say she was on the pill but wasn't she wanted a baby that is crazy narcissism not seeing a problem with their mistakes or owning up to them having anger issues and justifying them if she's always trying to change you the way to talk walk eat dress etc run nothing will ever be good enough for her i promise you that i guess like a lot of these points they are the same vice versa as well if she tries to make you feel guilty for wanting some alone time or for spending time with friends or family if she degrades your hobbies or interests to try to dissuade you from taking time to do those things if she withholds intimate relations as punishment for xyz that's not normal or okay if they treat you like a pet whose only job is to make her happy buy her things and give her attention while she does the bare minimum in return if she holds you under a scrutinous gaze looking for everything you do wrong or if she plays stupid games instead of communicating or basically if she does half the trash you see on tiktok okay while i agree with you op i did just hit 10,000 followers on tiktok myself so guys if you didn't know i've got a tiktok where i post short clips of my reddit videos and episodes Go over and watch them if you like TikTok. And if you don't, that's absolutely fine. Women who put down other women. If she's always insulting or being nasty about other women to you, that's a red flag. It shows a lack of self-esteem and jealousy issues. Interesting. Now remember guys that these are all comments from women themselves. And a girl has actually commented, wow, reading these, I realized I used to be the crappiest GF ever. Edit. Thank you for all your warm and encouraging replies. We all do stupid things when we're young and don't know better. However, youth shouldn't be used as an excuse for hurting someone either. While I cannot change my past self, I'm going to work hard to not take her into my future relationships. That is unreal to see. Wow, reading these makes me feel a bit better about a decision I recently made. There you go. Now guys, I didn't think it was fair to just ask the women of Reddit what red flags men should look out for. So I also asked the men of Reddit what red flags should women look out for? Because, you know, equality, man, it's important. So without further ado, here are the best answers I got to my question. Men of Reddit, what uncommon red flags in men should women be on the lookout for? When I worked at KFC, there was a girl whose boyfriend would stay parked outside the door during her entire shift. That is not something I've seen commonly and it's a huge red flag wow if he's a jerk to your friends or other people but can also be excessively charming 
Dudes who try to humiliate other dudes in front of women. Also related, dudes who backstab and talk trash about other dudes to look better in front of women. Okay, that is literally the exact opposite slash the same thing as what I saw in the first half of this episode. That's interesting. The inability to apologize. Now, this didn't come up as much in the first half, maybe because women are better at apologizing in general. Bit of a stereotype there, but hey, let me know if you agree with that. Wow, the inability to apologize. I've been there. That's all I'll say. And then an interesting comment below that. And then not really apologizing. I'm sorry you felt I was being or doing X, but I wasn't. Yeah, that's not really an apology. I agree. An angry drunk. Now, this is definitely something that didn't come up in the first half of this episode. Yeah, I mean, look, role reversal here. That's just scary. Someone who can't accept your accomplishments. Don't be with someone who feels the need to compete with you or can't accept that you've accomplished your goals. My wife is a doctor and I'm a freaking idiot. I asked her what made her want to marry me. And she said, you took time to praise my accomplishments and made me feel important all while struggling yourself. That is lovely. Someone who is unable to joke about themselves. If you can joke about other people but not yourself, then you're probably quite arrogant. Low Uber passenger ratings. Wow. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you lot. Mine isn't the best. I think mine's like 4.65. Let me know. Is that worryingly low? It's not the best and I do often get Ubers when I'm drunk. But hey, let me know. It might be too low. Temper and the inability to control it. Again, you know, just due to the biological differences between men and women, this is scary. And it's not something that we've seen as much on the other half of this subreddit. And it's not something we saw as much of on the first half of this episode. Let's be truthful. If you have to defend him with a phrase like, oh, but when he's just with me, it's different. Or, but you don't see him when he's nice. Who he is when he's at his worst is still the guy you're dating. And if all your friends see or hear about is the worst, it's not something they aren't seeing. It's something you aren't recognizing. Immediately shutting down when you try to discuss anything deep or potentially problematic in the relationship. Yeah, that's just avoiding necessary problems. When he's very nice to you, but not others, or has a problem with you going out or hanging out with friends. If he has to be with you every time you do that, run. Yeah, that's just controlling right there. If their personality changes after the first few months and you start to feel like you're walking on eggshells most days, there's a good chance they've masked who they really are and were only being who they think you want them to be. This can be a sign of an emotional abuser and you will hold on to the true them, believing they're just going through something and you can bring them back to how it was. You can't run. That is a great one. A quick edit from this same user. As a lot of you have pointed out, I agree there are definitely variables to this as to the reason a scenario like the above may be occurring. You know, mental health, undiagnosed factors, etc. I'm talking from a point of what I have experienced and every person's situation will be different regardless of the similarities. And I just want to add to this point, just because someone's personality or, you know, general demeanor has changed, it's not necessarily due to the fact that they were masking it in the first place. Stuff could genuinely have changed. Their feelings genuinely could have changed. But I do agree, it's definitely a red flag and something to look out for. You know what? All the comments here seem to be quite common as far as red flags go. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. These are all things I see ladies on dating sites say they want to avoid. How about some uncommon ones? Hides beer under his bed. Keeps a knife under his pillow. Has hidden cameras in his living room and kitchen, etc. Wow. Yeah, you've just taken the level up a little bit. If he's cheating on someone else with you, he'll cheat on you too. Yeah, unfortunately, that's true. Once a cheater, always a cheater. And finally, if he doesn't return the cart when grocery shopping. Now look, that one sounds silly, but deep it for a second. That is a very simple thing that most people should do, which is polite, making other people's jobs and days easier. If you don't do it, Arrogance personified is all I'll say. So there we go. We've got it now from both genders. Those are the big red flags that you may not necessarily have looked out for, but we can say from our own perspective, right? As a man, I agree with a lot of the things that I've just read. And if you're watching or listening and you're a woman, maybe you agree with a lot of the things that happened in the first half of this video. You know, things to look out for. And as you can tell, from both gender perspectives, people have learned a lot. And I hope that some people watching this, listening to this have learned as well. I know I certainly have. It's nice, isn't it? When you see those responses, wow, I didn't didn't realize how bad of a girlfriend boyfriend i was until i read this thread people are learning it's good to see and we're understanding each other 
lovely stuff. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Ask Reddit. A bit of a battle of the genders, but you know, everyone learning as one. I like it. If you did enjoy this episode, drop a like on it to let me know you want more of this sort of stuff. Watch them all on screen right away or down in the description. And yeah, if you haven't already done so, hit this button and subscribe for daily Reddit content. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.